So here we are with uh, Sensations Arborium. That's our project. Uh, that's the creation of Albert. Uh, he's signing up some stuff here. Um, Sensations Arborium, that's the energetic universe of shapes. What does it mean? Uh, we work with the energy of the trees. So we capture the frequencies of the trees and we work with the textures to create these unique pieces that you have here and that we can test uh, rather aesthetically. That's why we have these Dowsin rods here, for instance. Uh, and basically, that's it. Albert came up with this after years of research. Uh, he has been a photographer since many years ago. Uh, we both work in radiesthetics. Uh, we both have a pretty strong background in environmental, uh, like say, awakening. So this art, we think that uh, it helps to uplift the frequencies of the people. And the message of sensations is to reconnect to empower the breaches between human and, and nature. Okay, so we are here like to take some measurements. Um, so first what we will do is like measure the energy of the water. This is a scale of Bobby's units. Bobby's is a scientific who developed this scale that we have here. And Albert now is gonna test uh, the energy of the water. Yeah, there are like different ranges of frequencies. So the green one is like the standard, the one that we are like in a healthy state. When our energy drops down, it's like a star sickness, you know, so our energy drops down. And from here, from the green one up, is when our energy goes up. So it's like we feel better when our energy goes up, okay? So Albert is going to do the measurement of the water. Just to have the reference. And then what we'll do is measure the energy of our different pieces of art to show you how, how it works. <clears throat> Approximately, the, this water has the, the energy that it has is about 14,000 Bobby's units in this scale. And now we, I can't this, this is one of our last pieces. It's a living oak from California. We have been promoting sensations in Hawaii, California, Arizona, uh, Nevada. And this one, it's just a commission work for, for a friend of us who likes living oaks. And we work with the shapes of the living oaks of Santa Ines Valley and also the textures of uh, the wine. Uh, this guy is related to the wine industry. And then we use here the colors that he liked the most, the violet and the yellow. So the shapes and the colors are frequencies and that's what we measure and that's the outcome that we have beyond the art itself, the creation itself. So now Albert is measuring and Juan Adona? It's uh, almost 20, 24,000 Bobby's units uh, depending on the area of, of the piece, we will have more energy or not so much. Uh, so yeah, just to have an idea, it's, uh, I want to remind like this 7,000, 8,000 is like the standard healthy state for the normal, like in a normal state of the people. So here we have like measurements like three times more. Uh, I was measuring the energy of uh, the lava, for instance, in Hawaii, and it, it has even more energy than the sacred ancient trees. Sacred ancient trees range between 33, 38,000 Bobby's units, and lava can go up like 50,000. 
Albert is explaining that we can find differences, of course, uh, like I was saying, between like the different parts of the art pieces, but also like if you have like different pieces, for instance, this one, it gives us like 19,000 Bobby's units and the other one was 25,000 Bobby's units. But even in one piece, we can have like different frequencies, different values, but all the values are quite high in this, in this range. Albert now is doing the demonstration of how we test the energy uh, when we test the different frequencies of the forest, of the textures, how we, how we work. So now he's like testing with the dowsing rods, asking uh, in a bottle of water if there is water. So he's getting like a positive response. And that's then like the pre-test we do in order to go to test the different art of pieces. So he's asking like if they have good energy, for instance, and he's getting a, respond, a response. And then we can go into the Bobby's units scale to test like we saw before how much energy they have. So the good part of this is that Everybody can do this. I mean, it's a question of sensitivity, but uh, we will be here like today, like showing this to the people. We want the people like to experience this, to play with the dowsing rods. And as far as we have been experiencing this, uh, almost everybody gets a response. It can be more or less intense, but everybody gets, gets a response. Yeah, the way we, Albert is saying about like the way we come up with this is we do our research in the forest, so we measure radiesthetically the different energy of the different parts of the, of the trees and the senses, Porta las varillas. And uh, then we take, yeah, this is a little bit sample of how we measure the energy with the dowsing rods in the forest. Then we take notes about the different energies. And we have, for instance, this is like the sequence we did in Hawaii, uh, measuring the lava. Curiously, this lava, this texture, is from the month and the year that I was born. <laughs> so that was very curious to find that. So we were shooting like this lava and then creating in the lab the piece art. This one it's like from Hawaii directly. So it was like done a couple of months ago. So basically we have like our lab here like in in Barcelona, actually in Figueras, close to where Dali was, was born, actually. And, uh, but our lab is like nature, like the wall, the biosphere. So we can like do this anywhere because the energy of the trees is, is there. So what we're doing is just like trying to express through the art part of that energy. We are, uh, with Albert, we are in a constant uh, working mode, creative mode. Uh, that means that uh, we have like a research um, way, like all the time, like shooting uh, shapes, shooting textures, testing radiesthetically the different materials, different forests. All this stuff, we try to um, give updates regularly in our website. It's uh, www.zensations.com, zen-sations.com. Uh, we have in English the updates, the news. Uh, we have Twitter as well, it's Barcelona BCN Sensations. And you can reach us there. Um, next, uh, in the next weeks we have like several trips planned here in Spain and in Europe and other places around the world to keep like working on this and testing the results and constantly create create this
having you all here together and hope you are enjoying all the amazing art on show. The first prize, Barcelona Showcase Best Artist Award 2013, goes to Sergey from Sensations Gallery.